Hello, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heyer and I believe in dragons. And I believe in much more dragons. Did I actually told you before how, my, how many kind, different kind of dragons there are? There are so many different kind of dragons. And um, there are weavers, there are um, uh, European dragons, there are the, yeah, let me see, the, the lindworms, and then you have... Uh, so many different kind of dragons. It depends on, on which part of the world that you are. There are so many different kind of dragons. And in mythology, then it continues even more. There are even more dragons there in mythology. But mythology has never been uh, seen as history. It's just that people, humans, back then believed in this kind of particular dragon that it was seen. And one of these dragons were seen actually in every corner of the world. In Japan, it was called Orishi. In Greece, it was called Hydra. And um, in Christianity, it's called the devil. But yeah, that is why not? Eh? <laughs> of uh, demonizing the dragon because it was a worshipped being. And as well as Orishi was more like a fear being. What is Orishi? The multi-headed dragon. And that was, you know, Orishi was um, in the stories, in mythology, seen as uh, a god, uh, a god that lived in the heavens, but was thrown away, thrown down, because he betrayed his sister in, in, the, in the heavens. So he was cast out of the heavens and lived his life here uh, in this world. And also Orishi, or the Hydra, or whatever, um, has multiple um, personalities. Then you can say, oh, he has different heads. Yeah, that comes from this, this being. And the thing is, my brothers and sisters, uh, this is also a being that I, I could say that you can also become Orochi because you also have different kind of dragons with different uh, personalities. The reason for that to become more like Orochi is because, yeah, the clever killer knocks and that is a sign that brings you together. It's uh, the three horns of three different dragons that come together in the astral plane and uh, as one body, as one entity, but three different heads. Um, I already did this ritual. This is a ritual that I did back in the day. I didn't know about the clever killer knocks or about rituals, even in general, because I was I was searching down for something that could connect us, could make us one, actually, and not as one that we lose our own character, but that we still have this mind of ourselves, but yet we are together as one, and that is also what Orochi is, or Hydra, or yeah, uh, this is um, a divine being, a god, or goddess that's was yeah it's a god it's a god it's it's a male and um the thing is actually um when when you, when this divine being came to this earth it was feared more than it was loved but it was in fact um something that you should not see as one it's actually being said that this is the one with many personalities we my brothers and sisters um have something like a draconic trinity with our God, our guardian, and yourself. And that is also something that you can do, uh, that you can become, actually, more and more with your God and guardian, that you will also become more like uh, an Orochi. Um, how to do so? Connect with them, connect with your dragons. Uh, in the astral plane, you can do this, and you will come together as one. You can come together. That is why the sign of Kyovikela Nox exists, so that the three different entities will come together and will become one more stronger and powerful as a god, and you will become <laughs> more like a god. Um, yeah, Orochi is actually one of the gods. It's um, it, on, on the side of Tiamat, Pangul, Quetzalcoatl, and all the dragon gods. He stands next to them, with the one with many personalities. And it's actually... <laughs> A shame that he also is feared and that Christianity took his, his name and defiled it by, by saying it, had, it has seven heads. Um, on, the, on the end of days, on Judgment Day, on Apocalypse, and then when the... When, well, how can I say it? Um, how, how, when, yeah, when everyone goes to heaven, then the devil will be there in the shape of a, a seven-headed dragon. And that is where did they come from, of course, that is because of the story of Orochi, or Hydra. 
because it sh it should be feared for them because like i said it was actually also a worship being a god or a deity uh so yeah then that that is also yeah the card of multiple personalities but in the thing is yeah uh no one is actually in charge of the body it or it's we we can all have this we are, we are all in charge of each other from our own mind we will never lose our mind we will we will be one it doesn't mean that you are actually the same like your dragon that that you need to follow orders from your dragon that is not not and never the intention of the dragon's path you are we are always remaining to be free but becoming uh, becoming one and becoming uh, one together you will just be more powerful you will just be more like uh, the authority over your magic, or the, uh, you will have more authority over every, uh, um, yeah, more authority over energies and yeah, and knowledge and wisdom. That is actually the reason why we can sometimes become in astral plane the dragon with multiple heads. <sighs> yeah, but humans, of course, most of the time they fear what they don't know, and this is one of the cases. You know, Orochi um, is is sometimes in Japan not always seen as some kind of a demon or something like that, but seen as the one that was cast away, of course, from the heavens, but it still remained a god, still remained the, the one with many personalities. So how to become this? Yeah, you know how the Clover Killer Nox looks like? How, I hope so. Um, yeah, how can I see it? Uh, Clover Killer Nox. See if I can draw it right. This is the sign with the three, um, the three horns of the dragon. Sometimes it's seen like something totally different, but um, it's like the first horn, the second horn, and the third horn. You know, coming together in this place. The, the, um, and then you, of course, have this one. And this is actually uh, the sign of the multi multiple-headed dragon. Or also, you, it, it has multiple meanings, of course. But in our case, the dragon's path, this is the meaning. That you will come together as one in this place. If you, uh, None of you belong to this place. But all of you come together in this place to become one. And here, you will have one body and three heads. And one of these heads is you, one of these heads is your god, and one of these heads is your guardian. Of course, it can even be much more heads if you, if, if, if there are uh, multiple guardians or gods that you can have. Of course, it doesn't... Uh, this is my case, this is in my case. I, I have one god and I have one guardian. And, and in my case, it's only three. In your case, it can be that it has much more than that. Much more, it can be... But I, but I already did this. I already came together. I already been a Hydra, and that was many years ago. And um, it reveals a lot, my brothers and sisters. It reveals a many draconic a draconic mind reveals so much. It's ancient. It's so powerful, and it has so much answers that you can. Um, so many answers that it is finally re finally revealed once you are coming together. The dragons don't have to say anything. The dragons just need their mind. And whatever they are thinking, you will know as well. Of course, you can do this as well now. But I came to learn and I came to find out that the, the energy of the Hydra remains once you are there. How to, how to do this ritual? Of course, it can, it can uh, help if you have a knife. Um, it's it's very interesting for that, by the way. <laughs> you don't need to do this, but if you have something of yourself, like oh my god, I cannot reach my knife. Um, for, so, if you are not afraid of bit of blood, because I used some blood rituals, and um, you don't have to see this like some kind of a, a satanic ritual or something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, blood is all, an offering of blood is always uh, seen as giving yourself to the dragon and giving your trust to them. Uh, so what I'm actually doing is a little bit of blood on my knife. And sometimes, in, if, if it's the dragon eyes, it's, it's just the same thing. And I'm, I'm going to stab it in between. I want to reach 
out for all of the dragons that belong in my uh, in my circle reach out for them and becoming one one with the dragon one with nature and so I would not do this if I don't have a desire for this. So you need a lot of desire, a lot of willpower for uh, doing a ritual like this. Of course, in the Dragon's Path, you don't always have to do rituals. You don't have to do rituals at all, actually, to be honest. If it's only by your will, if, if you want to become like this, if you want to be attached to the Dragon God and Guardians, then, of course, the, your willpower... And so a donation of a little bit of your your life force in in the form of a little bit of blood, or maybe even different kind of energies. Like if you if you are a female, then blood, of course, uh, menstruation blood is also very good. It creates life. It has life for for a female. It's actually more, much more easy to do a ritual like this. Uh, for a man, um, yeah, a man just should not have pain, of course, if, if there's a little bit. But for myself, sometimes I injure myself and I do a ritual like this. I don't have to uh, show a little uh, blood of sort of, or pinch myself. I don't need to do this. I just wait for this injury that I have. And I have a lot, on my, on, especially in my job. So, my brothers and sisters, the Hydra. I have seen the Hydra and... I've seen through the eyes of the Hydra as one of his heads, as very revealing, very divine as, as, as well, very divine to become a god like him. Of course, it doesn't need to be like him. There are many Hydras actually in this world and you, will be, you can become one of them. Seeing through the eyes of the dragon, seeing through the eyes of gods and seeing through the eyes of the, the dragons that are with us together as one. Of course, in Christianity, they needed to do something, of course. Uh, the dragon with seven heads. Every head is another um, sin. <laughs> it's, yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, it's actually also from that, because as, as seven heads, seven different personalities. That is actually true. Seven different personalities. But one of these heads can be so sweet, and the other one wants to kill you. It, 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 mm. Yeah, that is how different the heads can be. You don't need to be like your god or guardian. You need to be like yourself. That is why your dragons love you very much. Because you are yourself. You don't need to change. That is why you belong on the same body. That is why they want you. That is why you can become one with them. As long as you remain yourself. A very unique person. A very unique draconic energy. The one that they were searching down for. The one that they have chosen. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.